What's up, fam? Yo, we're back with another video, and today we're gonna be counting down our top 10 palace items in the lookbook that just came out. It's mm -hmm. that time of year again. Supreme's coming out next week, or the lookbook at least. So can't wait for that. Uh, definitely be sure to tune into that one. But palace came out first, so we're here to count down our top 10 for their lookbook. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and sub because we're bringing some quality stuff to the table. <laughs> we do things people don't ever do. We got some good things coming in the future and we got some original content on the way that no one's ever done, okay? And we're gonna be doing a giveaway soon. So you're gonna wanna stick around for that. It's free yeah. stuff. And we'll throw in one yeah. of these just as an extra for the giveaways, you guys. So two times the stuff. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently this time. We're gonna take turns stepping in. We're each doing our top five, which equals top 10. So I'm gonna start us off. My number five goes to the Bear Storage Cargo Pants. The reason this is my number five is because this is the spring summer lookbook and they're not just cargo pants, but you can kind of like, I don't know if you unzip them or something, but they turn into shorts as well. So one item for the price of two in a way, and I just think they look sick. I like cargo pants, so that had to be my number five. All right, my number five is the Patch Up Your Life crew neck. Uh, it's a sand colorway. I don't know why, but I've been digging patchwork a lot lately, and I just think that the sand colorway is really clean. I really like cream colorways, whites, anything like that, so. Also, crew necks are one of my fave clothing items, so that's why it's my number five. All right, my number four is going to the Horsepower Crew. It's kind of weird, when I was looking at the pictures of these, the material kind of seems like not a normal crew neck, like not cotton, kind of looks like, like windbreaker material or something. I just think it looks sick with the palace and the horse on the front of it. I like all the colorways of this one, but I just think I like the navy one the most. They're all actually really close. I couldn't. I had a hard time picking which one was my favorite, but uh, I think the Navy took the top dog spot and it's also kind of patchworky as well. All right, I wanted to throw in an accessory. So my number four is going to the Dimension Bun Bag in the white colorway. I think the black colorway is dope too, but if I had to choose, it'd probably be the white one because I have a black Supreme, what are those called, fanny pack kind of thing. Waste bag, yeah, waste bag. I didn't really go in depth with checking all the accessories out, but I really like um, just shoulder bags, anything like that. So that's my number four. Number three, this is the Star Knit. I think Palace, whenever they drop knits, they only drop a couple of them every season, but I think usually they don't miss. And uh, last season, I think they did like a Dallas Cowboys type looking like clothing but since it's called Palace in Dallas, they kind of like make it like an ongoing joke. I don't know if it's a joke, but it's kind of got like the cowboy star and it says Palace over it. Yeah, I just thought this was a really cool piece and I don't have any knits at all. So I think I gotta add one to the collection and this just might be the first one. All right, so my number three is the Lawn Dons crew neck in the color black. This one was kind of different for me because I didn't expect it to have a reflective palace symbol or lettering on the back. I think that's really what sealed the deal on this crew neck for me. But I also really like the gray colorway, but I feel like in all my all of our top tens, I always go with a gray colorway over a black or any other color except white. I think white and gray is usually my top dogs, but this time I'm going with black because it stands out a lot more on the crew neck, but I also like the gray look. My number two is going to the Try Gain t-shirt. And there's tons of colorways of this one, but I'm just a big fan of like skeletons and stuff. And uh, this like logo or design is kind of part of their like marketing for the season. Like they have billboards everywhere of like uh, pain relief palace stuff, but it's obviously not pain relief palace it's just their how they're advertising the season i don't know i just think this looks cool yeah i think how it kind of like is x-ray x-ray <laughs> looks pretty cool so uh, X -ray. that had to be my number two my number two has to go to the reversible sensi wow. sensi jacket i don't know if i'm pronouncing or pronouncing it right i looked it up and it, it just says 
a teacher or an instructor, but I'm pretty sure that's sensei. But it's not spelt the same. But I'm going with the orange colorway because it kind of looks actually like copper. And I just really like the reversible aspect to it. It's like a, it's like a two in one. You're saving money. It's, it says it in the description of the jacket, but I really like the little palace logo on the front and the huge palace logo in the inside and the back, but the inside is also the outside. It kind of looks like it's like translucent. The orange, if you flip it and it's the orange side out, it kind of looks translucent. It's not just like a solid color, which I really like about it. We both have the same number one because to be honest with you guys, I'm a big Palace fan. It's usually over Supreme, but I'm not too impressed with Palace this season. And I think Supreme might have to take the cake for this one. We'll see in about a week, but. I'm excited. It's, I think it's not gonna be hard to beat because it was kind of hard to find some items that I really liked. Yeah. But our number ones are kind of like the same as my number one of, uh, if you haven't seen the video, it's right here on screen. My number one was the go-go jacket for the fall winter season. And I think so far spring summer season, it's kind of a similar jacket, but it's called the bear, bear storage jacket. It's bear. just like the cargos that I put as my number five, I guess. I didn't even realize that, but I guess it's a set piece, but they have like a blue colorway, black and white. I like the, I like the white, whitish. It's kind of like silvery a little bit. Just one problem with it though. I wish it had some pockets to keep stuff in but there's no pockets on it, so. It's got no pockets. That's a big, 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 big deal. deal. But okay. it's also called the stone colorway. Right, which and just stone. so happens to be my middle name. <laughs> you. <laughs> stone is my middle name. Mine. Not his, it's mine. So that's probably. Okay, that's our top 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. Put in the comments what your top 10 or top five are of the season. And let us know, are you feeling more Palace or are you excited for Supreme this year? I'm really excited. For Supreme? Yeah, dude, I'm <laughs> so excited. It's gonna be tight. It's always a, a good day to wake up and the look books out, so. Yeah, it's gonna be. I'll have to give that to Supreme. I'm more excited, I'm always more excited to see a Supreme lookbook than a Palace yeah, lookbook. Yeah, me too. Cause you got the accessories. Palace has like five accessories every season. Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait to see what stuff Supreme overcharges for in a week. Everything. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, sub. Remember, we got some giveaways coming soon, so if you guys want to be able to enter into those, you gotta be subbed. And just stay tuned. We will be getting into how to enter, and we'll be showing you guys what we're giving away. Catch you in the next one.